up guys it's Tommy here from sales lucky happy holidays it's December 23rd right now the day before Christmas Eve and I just wanted to make this video for this blog post that I made on ego and empathy so with top salespeople people who are crushers killers who put numbers up on the board and get stuff done and make stuff happen these people are very special I mean special in the sense that you really need both ego and empathy so what does that mean let me break that down so ego obviously is you know the an ability to believe in oneself and believe that you are the shit you are the motherfucking man right that you will get the job done no matter what and that's important because in sales, there's inevitably a lot of no's and uh, quote-unquote rejection that happens and you need ego to move through all that. You need ego, that competitive drive, that competitive spirit to win, to crush, to, to, to be the best. And I recently heard Andy Frisella in the MFCEO uh, podcast, business podcast, say that all top performers, salespeople, entrepreneurs, business people, artists, whatever it is, all top performers have a side of them that if they voiced out, people would think would be arrogant or cocky. And you need that part of you. But also, you need empathy. So before we go to get to empathy, just want to explain how do you develop a stronger sense of ego, a stronger sense of self. Well, you know, a lot of times people think it's bad, but it's necessary. It is a necessary part of success. You just want to learn how to kind of manage that. And that's something, to be honest with um, you guys, is something that I've been learning and I've been working on as well. Um, and it's definitely an area of improvement for me to be, be, self, be aware of that and be able to manage that better. But how do you develop that side of you? Well, it really comes just from t taking action and getting results. And if you put in the hard work, as simple as it sounds, if you put in the hard work, if you plant the seeds, if you sow the crop, the results will appear in due time. And if you're consistent, you're gonna see results, you're gonna start to win, okay? You're gonna see, uh, you're gonna win deals, you're gonna, you're gonna build more self-confidence, and that ego is going to develop and it's going to become stronger. At the same time, top salespeople also have empathy. Now, what does that mean? It means, well, actually, I'll read you what it means, uh, what I found it to, to say in the uh, dictionary. So, in Google, it says the ability to understand and share the feelings of another to understand, basically to really understand another person. What I take this to mean is really caring about somebody. Not only understanding them, but caring about them, understanding what they're going through. And because you understand what they're going through, really caring about them. So these are two aspects of top salespeople. And they can almost be, I guess you can see them as opposite sides of a continuum, but they're not mutually ex exclusive. You can have both. You can have strong ego which is strong self-belief and self-confidence almost you know what people would call arrogance you know you, that doesn't mean you need to be a dick but you just you have that inside of you that self-belief inside of you now along with that self-belief so that self-belief is going to help you move through the nose move through the inevitable nose that are part of sales and the empathy is going to be incredibly useful because when you're interacting with a prospect or a client that empathy is going to allow you to really actually give a shit about the person in front of you and it's going to allow you to care about that person and genuinely want to understand that person just as a doctor wants to understand their patients pain points ills and whatnot you're doing the same thing as a salesperson you're diagnosing the problems understanding their pain points and then prescribing a solution so these are twin forces at work here that all top salespeople have because if you just have ego and you don't have empathy well, you're just gonna be an asshole because you're not caring or you're not caring about your prospect or 
you're not going to um, understand the pain points of your prospect and what they're genuinely going through. You're not going to be able to get into their world. And if you just have empathy but don't have the ego or the drive, well, you're not going to be able to power through the inevitable resistance and the no's that are inherent in sales. So ego and empathy, those things go hand in hand. All right, guys, um, I explain a little bit more in the blog post. So um, check out the blog post here uh, in the link and, you know, go ahead and, and go ahead and read that and, and let me know what you guys think. All right. All right.